Hello gamers of the internet, we are back with Danganronpa 2! Goodbye despair, me and my big mouth. Yep. <laughs> no, you've done it now, there's probably gonna be loads of sex toys in here. Yeah, now. if you guys watched in the last episode, you know what we're talking about. Let's go inside the goods warehouse! The goods warehouse. Oh boy. What's in the boxes, Joe? Monokuma's cool. sex doll, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that, you beat me to it. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, I didn't take you through. <laughs> We're so fucking dirty. Why do people watch us, Ben? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of stupid, immature kids when it comes to video games, I swear totally to are. Christ. <laughs> a bunch of 25-year-olds making fucking sex jokes and whatnot. <laughs> this is why you're here, right, guys? Without thinking. <laughs> I peeked inside. Oh, dear. <laughs> the of boxes. We like Russell Russell. There's a Monokuma calendar. Oh my god. A guitar? I want one. <laughs> Sandbag. <laughs> and even a Monokuma guitar. Oh, oh a Monokuma. Is it like one of those nude Monokuma calendars? Sorry. Oh my god. A month. It's just Monokuma doing sexy poses, but he's just. <laughs> he's just himself. Because yeah. he's always naked. Oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> really oh like my it. god, Monokuma pregnancy test? Oh. Uh, <laughs> And there's one where he's like behind the table. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got a fucking great idea. Monaco pregnancy test, right? Yeah. The minus is his white side. The yeah. plus is his despair side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> ah! We need to stop. We're going to be banned from YouTube forever if we keep going like this. Let's keep on going. We, we need to stop. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. First, there was the Monokuma archive in the fun house. Oh, good times. Uh, we apologize for our lack of professionalism, oh, those ladies and gentlemen. Times. They were good times. Do you remember the fun house, Joe? Do you remember the archive, Joe? I don't want to think about it, please. Now there's a plushy fetch in all these goods. Or I'll make more sex jokes about Monokuma merchandise. Oh. How full of himself is he? Oh, very full. <laughs> oh, my God. That's good popularity doesn't last forever unless you're Mickey Mouse. I've got to earn the big bucks while I can. <laughs> or Mario. Oh, true. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. R.I.P. Oh, Sorry. you beat me to it again. <laughs> Damn it, Ben, you're on it today. Oh, uh, nah, kid. Sonic's still relevant, guys. He's oh. got a good new racing game coming out. 2D Sonic's still relevant. That's why Sonic Mania was so good. Yeah, Sonic Mania was awesome. And <laughs> Sega didn't even make it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. It's made by a bunch of fans. Yep. Yeah. God bless the fans. <laughs> In other words, it has no reason for existing. Oh, man, Sonic. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting to talk even crazier. Damn. I mean, to be fair, Monokuma's a pretty good mascot outside of the game. Yeah. I don't know, that Sonic Racing game could be good. Well, it could be, could be good. Sonic Team Racing could, could Well, the other Sonic Racing games I've heard have been pretty good. I love Transform. Sonic All Stars Transform. That yeah, that's the such one. Such a good game. Not the proper old one. I, I, I people, people will disagree with me here, but I actually thought that that Sonic Racing game rivaled Mario Kart. Ooh. I never played it before, so oh, I can't really say myself. It's very good. It's, it, I liked it because the tracks. Like the tracks, and um, when you went a lap around the track, yeah. it would transform. Oh, that's the, cool. the courses would change, like you change into boats, aeroplanes, like Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, that's pretty sick. So and the laps like, were never it, the same. Yeah, no, no lap was ever the same. Interesting. It was good. It, it was it really changed the tracks and stuff. Uh, is there a Monokuma in here? I'm There's a Monokuma to... panel down there. Oh, but I want to see a mon There's gotta be like a Monokuma in here. We're missing one, isn't it? Mm. There's three per. I can't see any from. No, not well, I'm looking at right now, no. Monokuma panel here, then. By the way, speaking of Monokuma's design, we recently saw the really old beta version of Monokuma. Oh, yeah. Fuck me! That is some scary shit, that guys. Is Holy fuck. Like, he's a human being, but one half of him is inside out. That's oh, some scary so shit. Imagine, imagine, go for it. imagine if that was Monokuma right here and now. I this would be a horror game. From from what I saw of that, it looked like Dank and Rumble was gonna be a lot more darker than like the tone it went for. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I, saw. I heard. That apparently they had to like tone down some stuff. Like blood was actually pink. Yeah. Because they need to put the age rating down. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty interesting. And then they tidbit. obviously changed some character designs and stuff. I guess. Yeah. From this, what I've heard. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? Oh god. 
I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Imagine wow. Monok I'm just imagining Monokuma walking into my print shop. Oh my and god. And he's asking for business cards, flyers, posters, a big roller banner that you can just roll back up and oh my put god. back up. Just Monokuma merch all over. Yeah. And... That'd be 1k Monokuma. <laughs> Plus that. It's expensive to print shit as well. It is. It's a lot of resources going into printing. Yeah, and Monokuma fucking destroying all the trees that can make paper for <laughs> Monokuma merch. Fuck nature, right? As long as there's money involved. Then they stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. Oh. You're so stupid. Of course not. You're such a fool. I hate to tell you, but have you looked in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. Oh I'm thinking God. about opening chains all over the world. I would go. Sure, why not? Of course, the main attraction would be my life-size Monokuma plushie! I can't believe you thought that far into the future. When you made these, your business is doomed to fail. <laughs> oh. oh, I find it so funny how the creators are like, yeah, we know our mascot is hot shit, like, it's gonna be merchandise and <laughs> shit, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, they can get away with so much crap of Monokuma, because he's such a 4 4 breaking troll. Yeah. You said so much shit up until now, but he can easily get away with saying crap like this. I know he can. Enough already! You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No, no! Hey, hey, don't say that! Let's do our best together! We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! <laughs> oh my oh god. god! Did they really just mention that Pogs? Pogs! I remember Pogs! <laughs> remember Al? He's back! Oh my god! Pogs for all man. Man, Pogs, do you remember? <laughs> Pogs. Did you used to play it? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh dear. Fucking pogs. We didn't man. have the internet back then. It's all about pogs and Beyblade for me. Oh yeah, Beyblade. The Beyblade. That Beyblade. Mate, that anime was hype. <laughs> 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 Let it rip. Oh, I fucking love Beyblade. Oh, Probably hasn't aged. Really. Probably not. <laughs> my memory is a bit, a bit of still intact. Yeah. Uh, don't you remember how that was really popular? I won't forgive you! Because there's no merch of me! Oh, she wants in on the business. Collaboration. Oh, Monami, my little sister. Don't you know the Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Oh my god. Not, not a tortoise? Yeah, isn't it a tortoise? The rabbit and the hare. No, yeah, fucking yeah. rabbit and the hare and the tortoise. Yeah, hare and the tortoise. Um, a long, long time ago. Oh. Where are you st oh, here we go. Where are these two old guys? Hey! Two old guys living together? Shing. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Fair enough. So that's basically saying, so we're the creators and uh, rabbits. Rabbits suck and bears are awesome. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh. Huh? Did you even need the old guys in the story? No, but they're in anyway. It's only if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> the half pink rabbit is so lame! You don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You stupid brother! <laughs> you did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense! Oh no. What? Oh shit! Oh fuck! That is Jojo! Oh shit! That is. Oh, 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 that is Jojo, yeah. That's that is a motherfucking Jojo reference. <laughs> I was gonna say, is that Kinshiro? Oh my god, but it's not. It's That's a fucking Jojo reference. <laughs> oh, into the trash can. Did the upcut finish as well. What a hopeless way of snapping back. Uh, she doesn't seem very hurt, man. She's in the fucking trash as well. Where she belongs! <laughs> but honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Service. So whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Oh, um, we're not going to do your decorations for you. Yeah. Good fags. Come on, what are you waiting for? Yeah, no, let's keep exploring. Okay, <laughs> let's, run. let's get out of here. You're right. No, we didn't explore everything. <laughs> oh. oh, I mean, do you want to after that? I wanted to see the other, like, Monokuma products, wink wink. <laughs> oh my god. We ran out the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma plan for 
I think we've had enough disposal. fun making up Monokuma's products, wouldn't you say? Oh, the fun just died and waited until the oh, end. Oh, it's end. never enough with Ben. <laughs> it's like, you got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're alright. Well, what else do you have to say for you? <laughs> Just say you won. There are no hints in obvious, suspicious places. Anyone who looks obvious, suspicious isn't a killer. Yep. That's usually the norm. Except when you're playing Dangan Romper. Alright, so I guess we're Ooh. done with this place. Oh, wow. Oh, we can teleport. What? Outside, I suppose. Oh, outside. Oh, it's just like the places. Yeah. What would happen if I went back in there, though? Just out of curiosity. Oh, boy. You can go back in. I'm just curious. Just want to see what's inside those boxes. The bunch of cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other. There are various goods inside them. There's even <laughs> household appliances and musical instruments. One of them a trumpet. They're probably used for packing goods before they ship. One of me could be a drum, just bash her facing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they're waiting to be shipped, but I don't... don't. These aren't even going to leave the island. Yeah. Yo, uh, where are they going to be shipped to? I don't know. Like, where, where the fuck even is this island? Did we talk to her while we were in there? Oh. Oh, what have you done? Sorry. I can tell just from the ambience that there's no important clue here. Well, at least we confirmed that. Yeah, at yeah. least we confirmed it. Alright, well, I guess we explore the rest of the island. Yeah. So, we've got a factory. We've got a restaurant. No, it's like one of those. A down. vendor street. Yeah. I like how it's not even called Fifth Island, it's called Last Island. Mm -hmm. Just to emphasize that, yes, this is the final island. The Hajime's weird. <gasps> what? What? Pet! Uh oh, if it's, Pet! If it's dead, we Pet! Don't... Petsu! Oh. oh, Pet's fine. Oh, Pet's Never fine. mind. Should we give it a food? Oh, oh, it's yeah. up to you. Yeah. Um, no, we'll leave it. Yeah, we're gonna leave uh, four hope and four despair. Yeah, it sounds like Is that a military? That's a fucking tank. Jabberwock Army! Okay. Holy shit! Some bad shit's gonna go down in this chapter. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh my god. Um, that thing over there. It's a motherfucking tank. Is that a tank? It is. Is it real? <laughs> Not just that, there are a lot of other, other stuff here that looks really dangerous. That's a bloody helicopter. That is well. a chopper. Get to the chopper! No! No! <laughs> this is helicopter. Oh, the terrible impression, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, that's the one he used to- Oh, is that Terry Terra's execution copter? Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, shit, at least there's context to where they came from now. Quick, desecrate it. Is, do you know what, though? It's funny, when I think of the executions, I always never really think about the context of them, where these things come from. Where they come from, yeah. Yeah, but- like, We're gonna you know... see a bunch of, like, Monokuma samurai out of nowhere. Oh, my God. This is For a bunch of animals just locked up in a cage somewhere. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Terry Terry? That's fucked up. This is helicopter. Oh. Don't screw with me. Desecrate it in the name of Terry Terry. Did you punch it? Bam. I thought oh. he did. Maybe he kicked it. I don't know. Ow. Um. Just take a piss on it. That's what I do. <laughs> Fuck you, Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. Oh. That's right. Drink it off, Hajime. Yeah, I would do too. Damn it. I'm so weird. Well, it is a helicopter. I mean, you can't really beat up a helicopter. You're not, you're not Nekamara. No, you? you're not. All right, Kanye, what you got for us? Man, this place is boring. <laughs> boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. <laughs> I forgot about Mini Morrow. Morrow. Have I got to do. Oh, can I do his voice lines again? Yeah! yeah. yeah. A real man fights with his fists! Oh, that feels good. That goes for women too. Right. You want to battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, no, thanks. We probably wouldn't win, so. Oh, it's not What's really a point? great offer. Uh, you just get punched in the Boom face instead. Pillows. Yep, fun bags. Never heard of them. Yeah. Surveillance cam. Oh wait, oh that's the thing. Oh, is that a water tower? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what. I... I thought that was like a different thing. Oh, okay. Truck. Truck. Is this a military truck? Unlike the aeroplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. It doesn't mean either. Don't worry. I, don't I do. It. Yeah, but you haven't driven in like what? I haven't got a car, but I know how to drive. Shut up. I mean, I know how to drive, I just don't have a license. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, so you... Wait, oh, okay. So you've done driving lessons before then? Yeah, I've done driving lessons. Oh, okay. But I just, I just you haven't got your provisional license yet. I didn't try. I, I kind of gave up. It's weird. I went. Mm. I was like started. I started driving, and then like I I don't know some like uni or something. I stopped and. Oh okay. So did you really get a chance to get one? I had a car once. I crashed it. That's a story for another time, though. <laughs> Moving on. I think you told that story. Actually, I think you told this story. Did I? When was this? Oh, near. I think you did it in. Oh, okay. Go back and watch all of our near parts then to find the story. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> it was near. You said that. I swear. Oh, okay. This appears to be a military base. This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small. The military technology here seems rather extravagant. Extensive. Extensive, sorry. Alright! These might prove useful when it comes time to combat the future foundation. Oh my god, imagine like Sonya had like mini guns. Oh my god, no. She'd be like, um, oh, what's a. Uh, I'm trying to think of a princess with loads of weaponry and shit. Um, I'm thinking of. Okay, you guys ever played Darkstalkers before? Remember BB Hood? Never played Dark Red Riding Hood, but with a fuck ton of like, weaponry and I haven't shit. Haven't played Dark Stalkers before. No, Dark Stalkers is a fun fighting game. One of the good oh. Capcom classic right there. Oh. Nope, never played that. Beautiful. There's no way we'll be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Wait, Red Riding Hood with machine guns? Yes. That sounds awesome. It is pretty fucking cool. Look how. Is it all the other fairy tales with like deadly weapons as well? Um, most of them, yeah. From what I can remember, uh, you got the main succubus lady Morrigan, and you've got uh John John. Is it John Talbane? He's a werewolf. What? You've got Dracula. It's basically imagine like creatures in horror, yeah, like yeah, Halloween yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's basically cool anime versions of them like fighting each other. I might have that. It's pretty really awesome. Cool. The character designs are awesome. Are really good. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank. No problemo. No problemo. Wait, what? I missed that. <laughs> child <laughs> can operate a tank. <laughs> Fucking hell, and the Viner Land is armed and ready. <laughs> So Jesus. let me get this straight. So what I've learned from the Nirvana Land over the course of Sonya's journey is that they're all sex crazed. Yep. They now have military powers. Yep. And they love anime. And they love anime. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a pretty awesome country to me. No problemo. <laughs> yeah, no biggie. It's a five year old driving a tank. Nothing crazy. A course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade school. Wow. <laughs> An obsession with anime and now this. Sonya country never ceased to baffle me. Sounds like it's a country you should stay away from. Or well, you kind of want to go to, weirdly enough. Oh, no, I've got my fun. There's a Nirvana song called Stay Away. Oh! <laughs> I had to explain it now, it's not funny anymore. Ah, oh, sorry, I'll, I'll do the boom for you. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, I wasn't picking up on the Nirvana reference then. I've always made her a Nirvana reference when she mentions oh, her country. <laughs> I know you did breed in the other one, I yep. know. However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. I just imagine Sonya over a big giant minigun going dig, 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 oh and God. when she's finished she just takes a whiff of her gun and goes Oh, smells like teen spirit. Oh my God. Or some shit. That was a really bad joke. Don't laugh at that. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait. No. That is wrong. How dare you that's wrong us. Only we can do that. Yeah. Huh? Um, 
Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operating seat. <gasps> a oh. document. Oh shit, more info? <gasps> go, 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 What go, info? Go. What info though? Do you tell. What info? Oh. Is it about the voices again? If you press the X button, you'll- OH NO! What have you fucking done? This is Sergeant Barlow, with my latest report on the operation. We are pulling out. Whatever sick, twisted government assignment we have been put on, it's not worth the death of any more of my men. Half of them are extremely sick with the disease. We had to restrain most of them so they don't try to infect the others, or worse. I just saw Private Mark blow his brains out after continuously shouting, Get it out of my head! I do not know what was on that island, but as sure as hell was something. Maybe a chemical weapon? One of my men reported on seeing a glowing green light under the sand, so it's clear there is some weapon hidden under that island. We are unsure what country that weapon belongs to, and one of my men has been, might be going hysterical. He said he saw a black and white bear, as if such a creature exists. This will also have to be my final report, as I too was infected with Somophilia. I can already feel the loss of control in my hand. The voices, they're crawling their way across my brain. But I won't let them take me! I'm sorry, baby girl. Daddy won't make it home. No! No! You fuckers won't take me! <laughs> oh, mate, that was fucking sly. <laughs> that was absolutely the slyest <laughs> shit I've seen you pull in this, Alfie, Ben. You dirty bastard. <laughs> I do one every chapter. <laughs> I completely forgot. I'll give you that one. Oh, oh God. That future foundation insignia. Oh, shit. Jabberwock Island Department Plan? Development Plan. Oh, Development Plan. What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Monokuma. And it was placed rather unsightly. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it can be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it, like you said. It's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Ooh, what does it say? Beyond what's written in here, I do not know much. But it does document Jabberwocker Island redevelopment plan as at considerable length. Redevelopment plan? What? Oh. What? what is this plan? That plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the future foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. What? what? Oh wait, we did learn about that. We didn't learn about- Wait, they're gonna make this island their headquarters? So we're in that base. So we're in World Enders base? Holy shit. A central headquarters for future foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um, in actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that man managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Mm. Because of that, the island was unscathed by the... Unaffected by the in incident, the incident, which incident. The, the tragedy, the tragedy, which allowed him to easily gain a foothold. Wait, 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 hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time. If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. Attentive? Yeah. yeah. The items at the supermarket are always stopped. And the hotel is still really clean. Is Monokuma doing all that? He must be. None of us are doing it. Yeah. Could that future foundation's response... Could that the future foundation... Could that be, I think, uh, this yeah. now? Oh, could that be the future foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Oh, so the tragedy really is real? 
I cannot discern that that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well? However, there is one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Oh, the map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was written... It was written there that the central island housed a large administrative building. However, we cannot find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? It's not the Hope's Peak Academy. But according to charge, this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for the headquarters, could it be that? Could it be that same building? Um. They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation headquarters, or so it was written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Hmm. Is it Hope's Peak? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I mean, it's got a big giant ass Future Foundation symbol it in it. It does, doesn't it, on the door? Yeah. Damn it, what the hell is going on? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is mystery of this island. Yeah, it all comes down to what the island is all about and why we're here. But what's really going on? The mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Huh. Interesting. Boshi! Well, we Oh yeah! Good spotting. <laughs> Thank you. I thought like, that's interesting. Oh, oh my god, a plushie! Look! We got them all! Yeah! 410! Fuck me, that's a lot of coins. I ain't looking forward to free time. I bet most certainly is. I'm so hyped for free time. Oh. That is. We're just gonna have a whole episode dedicated. To no, we're not. Plushie. We're gonna have a whole bunch of cuts. Oh. That's what we're gonna have. I'm still gonna suffer for it regardless because that'll be in real time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it all to hell. The Jabberwock Island that we know and the description of it written in this document, they do not match at all. What could this mean? That document was left by Monokuma, so it's difficult to say if it's even credible or not. That is true. However, Probably credible. However, it is very curious, would you not agree? Oh, she's saying the same thing. What? Yeah, she's saying the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think we just... Oh, fair that. enough. Okay, uh, what else is there? Have you seen everything? Have we looked at the tank yet? Did we click the tank? I this, think we did. This is a tank, right? Is is it real? <laughs> can it move? Can oh. we... Can we part it? I mean, if Sonya's the princess of the nation that can operate tanks just, at, at a young level, then can she operate it? And can we just cause havoc? I feel like she could. Can we just put a giant show into Monokuma and blow him up? I don't think it would kill him. Probably He's not. He's got reserves. Yeah. You keep forgetting he has reserves, don't you? Oh, I mean, the plushie actually kind of reminded me that he had reserves. Yeah. Maybe his reserves are in there. What is that? What is that? Sea King, King Industries. Industries. Excuse me. What is a Sea King Industry? Yeah, what is a seeking? What? Oh, 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 oh my! What? Where are we? Kazuichi Dreamland. Of course, Kazuichi would be here. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in an all di in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Seeking industry. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electrical installations and other machine parts. Oh, he knows of them? They're a mid-sized company with, o on with only 100 employees. But they're, they're, they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research factory facility. For a mid-sized company? That is pretty nice facility. Uh. Are they making monobeasts? Look at that shit on the left. 
That looks like a beast of some kind. Oh, they could be how. Oh my god, that oh, explains where he got his mono beast from. So he's literally making robots. Jesus. I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Why didn't we see that one? I don't know. Besides, the size of the company isn't that I issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts. So just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. Oh boy. Investigate we shall. What do we got? Monokuma plushie! Right. right. Right there. Up. There. Left. No. Right. Down. There. X. Oh. Yeah, on the balcony. How the hell are you finding Being all shady, nice. shady. I don't know, man. 420, you're just adding to your pain. 420 plays it. Oh. Oh, that was a stupid joke. I don't oh, know why I just said that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, hero. it's reminded us of Hero, so. I'm really upset that uh, we never did, like, when we hit 420 sips, we didn't make any jokes on 420. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, we didn't, like, smoke some weed or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Live on YouTube, sure. Just go on Amanda Winley's YouTube channel for that shit. Oh man. Yukiko's voice actress has her own weeds channel now on <laughs> YouTube. Does. And it's pretty glorious. It's hilarious. <laughs> when Joe told me about this, I was like, wait, are you shitting me? And nope. then I looked that shit up and it's real. Yep, oh it's my god. Very true. Very informative as well. Oh, she knows is. she knows her stuff she from knows weed. Her crap, man. Yeah. It explains so much about um Yukiko. Yukiko now. <laughs> Yukiko is just a stoner. Makes sense. And, and she doesn't she burst out into <laughs> random fits of laughter sometimes as well. Makes sense. The there yeah. you go, it's all canon. <laughs> oh dear. She's a weird Hey Chia, you wanna puff? She, she's a crazy one on Twitter. <laughs> oh she's great, I love her. She's nuts on Twitter. <laughs> oh god. Um evil laugh from Kazu YouTube. <laughs> I don't know how many times. Hey, 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 Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? You? Why? Oh. Why? Well, why? Because you just start. Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, well, obviously. What else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you, what are you talking about? Hey. Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using the computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. <laughs> it was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goop bumps. What kind of story is this? Delusional story. So what was written in the email, <laughs> anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea of the story. Wait, really? Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. Oh, it's not a manga story. They're talking about the fucking tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> and the riots were caused by high school students. Oh. I mean, seriously. That's not realistic at all! No, not realistic at all. What kind of dummy would make up a story like that? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So those riots just kept growing and people grew more dissatisfied and frustrated with society? Until eventually it spread like an infectious disease all over the world. Bloody hell, what is it? Just like chaos disorder? Oh man. Like Joker's like a natural phenomenon. Oh my god. Natural force, everyone just gets hooked on the chaos. Footage of the riot started getting circulated, and strange incidents, start, incidents started occurring one after another. Chain reaction, man. A hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world, as the end of the world gets closer and closer. Oh, shit. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. A tragedy. <laughs> hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better oh story my God. ideas. Oh this Spike isn't realistic at off. all. <laughs> well, at least they can laugh at themselves. I mean, 
students. <laughs> oh, just still going. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I never believe it for a second. Welcome to anime, Kazuichi. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. <sighs> There's always the left here for us. I hate it because they're saying it and like, oh, you guys actually believe this stupid crap. And it's like, is oh, it this is an anime game. Is it real, Spike Chunks? Like, why do you always say the tragic past and tragedy along in that? Anime is real, right? <laughs> uh, anime is real. Oh, Spike Chunks, what's up? Hey, about that, are you sure it's okay to say it's just a made up story? <laughs> oh, of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not! There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that killed people just by writing it in! Fuck's sake. You've already made a death note <laughs> joke in your presence! Ugh. <laughs> oh. oh, I wonder if Kaluigi is uh, going for it. Oh. 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 This... this... <laughs> this, this game's a riot. Uh, if that death note was real, Nagato's name would be straight on. <laughs> Nagato ko fucking my death. <laughs> oh, but you know what would happen if you wrote his name in the death note? What? Uh, some bullshit luck of that. Yeah, one. I feel like it, it would be impervious to Nagato. Like, it would be like, oh, he's about to die. But then he gets lucky or something and he, he avoids the death. How the fuck do you avoid a heart attack? He obviously avoids... I, I bet like it's like, oh, oh, I'm dying, I'm dying. Oh, oh that was lucky. My pacemaker just kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. Yeah, yeah some, something like... Something, I don't know what it would be like. Maybe he had a pacemaker in him, yeah. And Good news, like, Nagato. You just came back from the dead. You were literally fucking dead. And you came back to life. It's a miracle. <laughs> right. I bet Nagato would have a pacemaker if he wrote his name in the death note. <laughs> just like, oh, good thing for the pacemaker, eh? Yeah. Guys? It's just a lot of unimaginable things that kept happening to us, where maybe I'm getting a little confused. Nagato's not human anyway, so it wouldn't affect him. But the world ending, there's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. Oh, man. Well, that was a massive piss on fans for, like, like wanting to know about what the tragedy was. And then like mock it by a bit. <laughs> kind of. More like a tease, I would say. Yeah, it's kind of a tease, but it was like, ah, it's like, I don't know whether to, be, like, because I'm already doubtful whether it's real or not, and now they're like, oh, it's a stupid made up story. Yeah, it still hasn't been our right confirmed that the tragedy <laughs> actually happened, even though it's driving a lot of the story in these games. Yeah. We st we've only seen video footage, and we've only seen things written down information, but we've never seen it ourselves. Yeah, and also is that a mono beast? Better than one of these, it's totally one This of these. machine is making another machine. Yeah. The finished product looks like it's modelled after a four legged animal. It's totally one of these. Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't that animal looking machine remind you of anything? Yep. Are you talking about the mono beasts? Yep. Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? Yep. The mono beasts were created here. I love how there's content oh, for everything. So. Yeah, it's cool. Oh! That's what this place is for. Hey, hey. No matter how much you assist us a game, people won't be convinced that a place like this doesn't exist, right? Oh, I'm just saying, I love all this context. Mm. Fucking, this game's psychic, man. This game's scary. Bye. That's why it's just fine. Don't piss off and piss off. There's something wrong with you. What, what, what did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> he was talking to the player. Oh. <laughs> It doesn't matter who c convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such dangerous robots in a place like this? Does that mean Monica Uma took over this place and modified it to do this? Damn it. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh, yeah, you're right, Ben. That does explain quite a bit. Plushies, mono beasts. Yeah. Tanks and oh my god, that's creepy. What the fuck is that? Why are you making like cyborgs and shit? <gasps> is that how this near automata shit? Dude, I just realized is this how you made Nekomaru? Oh. oh fuck, maybe this is screwed up. This automated machine looks like it's making something. It's a fucking android. Is that a mannequin? 
Or the cyborg. Can't remember the terms. Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Just like that. Serious? You get a bit of context on how they made Mechamaru. Seriously. How can they make robots? Oh, shit. <gasps> hey! Just how far did technology advance without me knowing? <laughs> Do you think Mechamaru was made here? Yeah. Oh, oh, wrong oh, button. That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation too. Nah, you think? <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now that... Now, it's isn't it? That... What's clear? Ah. This used to be the Sea King Industries. But it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhabitable, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to stop shock us. That's the reason? That's right. It's not so weird. This whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? Yeah, that is the big question. Why? why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into that stuff. They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... I mean, if that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich perverted bastards! Oh, all the fat cats are watching us kill each other. Oh. Their posh little drink swirling them around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my, I've gone for trauma again. I swear, these children have no sense of, you know, originality. originality yeah. yeah. That sounds like something that would happen. Oh, that sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. <laughs> but the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Wow, Magic Dangle was real. I guess that's it. Like some scary shit. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's it. Yep, alright. So what else has this iron got for us? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, Yo. hello Fuyuhiko. Hey Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up Fuyuhiko? Well, I was thinking you probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right. I think we've explored everywhere at least once for now. Oh, okay. Damn that's it. Right. Then, do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Also, I can't point this out, because one of our commenters said this, can't remember who in chapter 4, but why is every single line of Fuhiko since he's transformed been damn right? <laughs> really? Yeah. I didn't notice. No, I didn't notice it until one of our commenters pointed <laughs> out, but then I kept track of it, I'm like... He needs sunglasses yeah. when he says that. Damn right! Oh, shit. <laughs> He, he literally, every single one of his lines have been damn right. <laughs> I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Ooh. Later. Head over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know if he could left the area, he actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others way. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. Oh, I guess that's a good stopping point. I guess so. Next time on Dangarumpa, we're going to discuss what the hell we have just witnessed while we eat a bit of Chinese. See you then.